sketch a graph of y is equal to 3x minus 2 divided by x plus 2, clearly showing the x and y intercepts and any asymptotes. So, first of all, we'll look at the x-axis. So on the x-axis, y is equal to 0. So we'll put y is equal to 0 in this. So we've got 3x minus 2 divided by x plus 2 is equal to 0. Now the denominator cannot be equal to 0. And therefore the only bit that can be equal to 0 is 3x minus 2. So we'll put 3x minus 2 equal to 0. That gives 3x is 2. x is 2 thirds. So the curve goes through the point 2 thirds comma 0. The y-axis on the y-axis, x is equal to 0, so we'll put x is equal to 0 in this. So we're going to have y is 3 times 0 minus 2 over 0 plus 2. That's going to come down to minus 2 divided by 2, which is equal to minus 1. So it goes through the point 0 minus 1. Right, now we have to find the asymptotes, so we'll do the y undefined first. There's a value of x that we cannot put into this function. So if we look at it, we cannot put in minus 2, because x plus 2, the denominator, cannot be equal to 0, and therefore x cannot be equal to minus 2, and therefore the line x is equal to minus 2 is a vertical asymptote. As x goes to plus or minus infinity, or very large, or very, very small, we have what's known as a horizontal asymptote. One way to do this is to do the division. 3x minus 2 divided by x. 3x divided by x is equal to 3. 3 times x gives me 3x. 3 times 2 gives me plus 6. If we do the subtraction, 3x might take away, 3x is nothing, minus 2 minus 6 is minus 8, so this becomes 3x, uh, 3x minus 2 over x plus 2 becomes equal to 3, minus the remainder over the divisor, which is 8 over x plus 2. Now as x goes very, very large or small, this becomes 8 divided by a very, very large number, which is 0, so therefore y is equal to 3, is the asymptote. Y will tend towards 3, so y is equal to 3 is a horizontal asymptote. So now we've got to sketch the curve. Let's just write down all this information that we find. X intercept, y intercept, vertical asymptote, and horizontal asymptote. Draw yourself with a ruler, a reasonable size axis, put arrows on the end, label this one x and this one y. Mark on this point, which is approximately there. It's only a sketch, so it doesn't have to be accurate. Mark on this point, the y-intercept, which is approximately there. Mark on the vertical asymptote, which is going to be there, through x is equal to minus 2. And mark on the horizontal asymptote, which is y is equal to 3. So the curve must go through here, through this point, through this point, and through here, like that. And then it can't go through here or here because it will indicate that it would have cut the axis. So the only other bit it can be in is this bit here. So just repeat that. It cannot be over here or here because it would have cut an axis and the algebra didn't show that. And therefore the only part the graph can be in is this bit here. So to finish the graph we need to draw that bit in there and label the graph y is equal to 3x minus 2 over x plus 2. So showing you how to draw a bilinear function without a GDC.